Welcome to the Greatest Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I saw that in Scotland, they are, I think it's Scotland. Uh, they are the first, yeah, the UK. First ever consumption rooms for illegal drugs are given a go-ahead. Wait so, a minute. Say that one more time. For the UK's first consumption room for illegal drugs are given a go-ahead. Okay. So it is a place that people can go and do intravenous okay. illegal drugs in a safe and clean environment. So this is a thing that's been going on for a while. We these think, rooms? No, these, uh, it's been, I guess, restricted to like facilities and not necessarily like, I don't know, like places necessarily. But we've had facilities that allow you to use your intravenous drugs in a, in a safe place. And there's usually like a nurse there and they usually like provide you with the clean needles and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this is yeah. really new. It is very odd for it to see put into like litigation that's like this widespread because we're talking about like what, like a city, a town, a, a somewhere in Scotland. I don't know exactly where. Yeah. So it's like a whole it's like a place. Yeah. Yeah. And they originally were going to have a room to smoke drugs in, too. But they that one didn't that one might be added later. Right now, it's just intravenous. But I guess that's like I get it. But I wonder if when you go, you have to get registered and like they try to get you help and like, you there's, know what I mean? It's like, it's, of that. there's caveats to that. It's not like they're just going to let you roll in every week shooting up heroin and not be like. Yeah, it's definitely like you got to sit through the timeshare. Uh, timeshare <laughs> drug counseling. Yeah, you definitely got to sit, you gotta, like, that. sit there and like watch, watch the uh, it's like you watch all the STI videos are all like. This is what can happen to your penis. And then they're like, you sure want to have sex with that prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah. And then they supply you with the prostitute. Hey. Like, honestly, yeah. that'd be great. Um, but yeah, so it's not really, that's not really like a, a new development. But uh, good ups on them for coming to terms with it. Now, the contention in America with programs like these, like, uh, I'm sure you remember the whole thing about the government supplying people with crack pipes and stuff of that nature that was going on. The uh, no, not, no, not familiar with that. I've heard of like cities doing like clean needle programs there where like you that. bring dirty needles, they give you a clean needle. Like, mm -hmm. and yeah. there was an ancillary of that it was kind of like an offshoot of that that whole that whole uh, program where they were providing the uh, the crack pipes for for people as well, so that they could uh, they could use whatever drugs they wanted to. My question is, is like, what what? When are we just going to be like, hey, you know, just do whatever you want. Make it all legal? I don't know if we should make it all legal because, like I said, laws aren't for us. So I, I for me, I say make it, it all, legal. Make it all legal. Laws aren't for us. So it's easy for me to say make it legal because I don't have any propensity for doing heroin. You know? <laughs> I don't, yeah, but I'm not going to do heroin. Well, but it comes down to the thing of like, if you're a junkie. Yeah. Should you go to jail when you get caught or should you go to court mandated rehab when you get caught? Like, are you really a criminal or are you an addict that needs to be, needs help? And that is, that is a good point. That's a very good point. It's not like you're, it's not like you're running guns across international borders. Like you're like doing legit, you're not robbing a convenience. I mean, now if you're on drugs and you rob a, at a convenience store, yeah, you committed a crime, whether mm -hmm. you're an addict or not. But if they catch you with drugs, so, like, I, I I feel like we still need to take an aggressive stance on on the drug control in the country, but I do agree with you is that it's, it shouldn't be treated necessarily as a crime. I think that maybe we need to come up with a new system yeah. where it's not necessarily a a criminal charge, but you do have, like, some forced rehabilitation. Right, and that's what I mean. Like, and, if, if you get caught with drugs, just straight up, Something happened. You get pulled over. They find heroin in a needle yeah, in your car. Yeah, you're not doing anything wrong. You're no. You're not a, doing crime, mm -hmm. and they arrest you. At that point, like, get, dead a drug test. If it shows that you like have it in your system, you have to go to rehab. Yeah. So yeah, instead of going to forced prison, sit in the and box, then you become a criminal because you're around all the other real criminals. Yeah, I mean, you know, sure. You go to rehab, and then you're around people who are trying to heal, so that possibly you can heal. And and it, they're like rehab jails. Like you still yeah. have to go for thirty days or sixty yeah. days or whatever, but you're, it's a rehab. It's not a prison. 
I mean, you talk to people in rehab, they probably tell you that they're it's like one and the same. Right? Yeah. yeah, but I, and but I like, kind of feel like it would end up just kind of yeah, degrading. But if you're robbing somebody on the street because you're on drugs, yeah, you're still going to jail. You just, you were you were doing robbery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you still have the rehab time. I feel like even put on to it. So if you you know if you have cocaine in your system or heroin in your system and like yeah you go to jail and then you go to rehab sorry yeah after you serve your sentence yeah guess what you get a year of rehab ooh a year of rehab brother forced therapy and all that sorts of stuff yeah That'd you have wild. to participate or you can get more go jail back to jail time. and I then after like- that you come back to rehab yeah. <laughs> so I like the idea of forced rehab. Um, but I do have to say is that it would be a lot of resources expended because oh yeah to truly help a person takes a lot man. because they want to they have to want to be helped yeah I mean ain't no one quitting drugs unless they want to quit there's definitely the difficulty you have to deal with when dealing with each individual case and if we're talking about like honestly I feel like. 50 to 60 to 75 percent of the cases that are in jail now would qualify for this program we're talking about a vast i would i would venture to say a vast majority of the people who are criminals have a drug problem uh i mean maybe not like a serious drug problem may just be weed or whatever but i feel like i mean but if you just smoke weed you have a drug problem i mean can you do coke and not have a drug problem well, that's true. That's I mean, fair. That's fair. I don't feel like you can smoke crack or do heroin without it. Without so how do we how do we differentiate between the people who just like to do recreational drugs occasionally, you know, perfectly fine, versus the versus the criminals who? Uh, I mean, if you get if you get caught with it, that's it, man. So Jonas, all right, <laughs> all right. So that's cop, why I say decriminalize it, though. Cop pulls you over. And he actually, there has been some strides in this recently. The uh, uh, Congress did release a a plan to uh, help with dispensaries and the way that they do their banking. Oh it's, yeah, that's going to be a huge because right now they have to do everything in exactly. like cash. Like so, that's like when you go to a dispensary, you can only use debit or cash. Yeah, that's exactly. It. So a non but non bipartisanship uh, uh, bill just went through that helps with dispensaries and their whole banking issue because they couldn't do banking before. Now they'll be able to do banking just like any other business. But it, I think it has, I think it still has to pass uh, another. Yeah, like, it hasn't passed yet, but yeah. I, I saw that it was in there. Yeah, which is honestly beautiful. So, you know, Democrats and Republicans come together to legitimize, legitimize business all around. Right, right. But it's like, where do you, where do you set the boundaries between a person who is just like, I just like to smoke weed or a person that's like, you caught me in the car with it and I have a problem. I can't work. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a lot of it's being decriminalized. I mean, like it depends what the status of the drug is too. Like yeah. if it's a, I mean, a lot of places weeds decriminalized. So you get caught with it, it's nothing. Okay. But like, but if you get caught with heroin anywhere, you're going to jail. I agree. Like when you start talking about hard drugs, if you're talking about like heroin or crack cocaine or something like that, then meth. yes, I 100 yeah. meth. Yeah, I 100 percent agree that those people probably need help to get off of those drugs. Those drugs have a pervasive addiction cycle that yeah. a person really can't do. I'd by be themselves. apt to say anything that's unnatural. Coke though. You, it has to be processed. You can't just go find cocaine in the wilderness. That's you can find mushrooms. You can find weed. Okay. Like, I you just get caught with that, like... And I'm not trying to, like, cape for the coke users out yeah, there, yeah, but yeah, I just no, no, know no. that there's a lot of them out there, and they don't have a voice. So, as the... <laughs> You're gonna give a voice to the white pony chaser. <laughs> so, as a voice for the white pony chaser, I would say, yo, bro, I just... I, they just do it on the weekend. You telling me I gotta go to rehab now because I got caught with it? Yeah, it's I, a you, class A, narco- it's class nice. whatever narcotic. That part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I like the way you Anything, put Anything... I, I just feel like it's, if it's processed, like, if, if I could walk out into the into the woods... And grab it off a thing and have it. Grab it off a thing. I mean, yeah, because mushrooms are on poo and and uh, you're just, you're just grabbing weed is off a thing. But like, yeah, you can grab plants? the coca plant, but you can't. What, you mean? what? I say you keep saying thing, but I think you mean plant. Plant. Well, okay. it depends because mushrooms don't grow on a plant; they grow on crap. Okay, you just out there grabbing. So you see, so you grab them on a thing, off a thing. Whether you're gra- if you can find it naturally without it being processed, I feel like. Those are the ones that you should be all right with. Okay. I agree. 
Yeah, so anyway. Some six, yeah. Go to thecrazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.